Hey guys, Rennie here with Off Grid Trek. Uh, we took a few hours just to get out of the city, enjoy the mountains here. Although, if you just want to pan around, you can't really see them. We're pretty much in a, a large cloud cover. We've got snow coming down. But I figured I'd take the opportunity here to show I have a lot of people asking about power film, asking about our solar blankets because they are designed very similar to power film in the fact that they will work in low light conditions. And this is a pretty probably one of the best examples of low light conditions right now. Um, so I've got a 220 watt power film, which is the largest they make for this one that I'm aware of. Just to give you an idea of physical size, this is it folded up. I'll put all the dimensions and the specs in the video. I just don't have them off the top of my head. Uh, and I'm, what I'm gonna use as, as an example, because this is what most people are interested in right now is our newest 300 watt solar blanket. So we're comparing a 220 versus a 300, but the difference being is amor amorphous solar cells and this is what the military, a lot of militaries use worldwide. It's what I used when I was in the military as well. Um, this is supposed to work very well in low light conditions. So we're going to do the comparison. A little more wattage, uh, but we do use some power Gen 3 solar cells. So that's going to be the big thing. And we, it does have a true 24.5%, 24.5% .5%, uh, efficiency rating, which is quite important. So let me lay out the power film. I'll put that one out. We're going to connect it to an EcoFlow Delta 2 here. In a moment, there's going to be no readings on it right now because nothing is connected. So let me lay this out. Okay, one second, guys. This guy's a little bit of a beast. But you will see the size difference with it. Because I'll put, once, once we have this laid out and we've compared, we're going to put the 300 watt as well and compare. Oops, there we go. So here we go, a little bit of snow accumulating already. So here, I've already got everything ready because I just wanted to... Hands are a little cold with the weather that we have here. Okay, I believe that's the correct size. So here. <clears throat> so we've got the 220 watt connected right now. And let's just see what there is for readings. We'll give it a couple moments because I've noticed with amorphous solar cells, they take a couple moments to actually show a reading. So right now we're seeing zero coming in with the 220 watt power film. So now let's do a comparison. I'm going to lay out the 300 watt solar blanket and then we'll disconnect the power film and connect this one to the same cable. So I want to do this just to show you the size difference as well. And again, part of the reason I talk about low light conditions, why that's important, the fact is, guys, we don't always have sunny days. We don't, don't always have great weather. We had this laid out a little earlier, so you can see there's already a bit of snow on there. So what I'm going to do here, this is where the power film was connected. So that's disconnected. So now let's connect this guy. There, that should be enough cable to our 300 watt that has quite a bit of snow on it already. And just to see what we get. And who knows, we may not even get any readings at all. But let's just check. There we go. We have 20 watts going in. So, just to show you guys, so if we're just going to pan in. You're going to see the difference in size of the solar blankets here. This is our 300 watt laying on top of the 220 right here. Just look at the size difference, guys. Our 300 watt, and again, I'm going to have all the specifications. I'll have the price difference. Our 300 watt, we designed it basically to offer a product that offers similar features to power film on low light conditions, <clears throat> but at a much better price point. We didn't want to come in with the lower, um, I'm just going to step over here, the lower inexpensive monocrystalline solar cells that everybody else in the market is offering. It's just that market saturated. And to be blunt, this isn't something I would want to use myself. I want my solar to work in this type of conditions. Um, just in case, or heavy smoke from fires, or what if you're in a bit of a rainstorm, uh, you have the ability, depending on the, on the thickness of the clouds, like this should work. It all depends on, on, on what is above you in regards to the thickness of the clouds and the density of the rain coming down. But that's what I wanted, something that's gonna work in these uncertain times. We live in an interesting world now. And at the end of the day, having reliable power is in my eyes, very, very important. Um, the other thing I wanted to mention guys is we do have stock available. Uh, we are shipping within say about three business days. That's to Canadian, 
European, US customers, customers in Asia, you name it. We, we are shipping worldwide. If there's a custom package or if you have a question about a specific solar generator or power station similar to something like this, like the EcoFlow Delta II, uh, and you want to know basically um, you know, will this work? What cables are required? Let us know. When we sell the solar blankets, so this is a common question, uh, we don't sell them with cables because there's no cookie cutter way on how to provide power to every power station out there. So we do have specific cables to different generators, solar generators or portable power stations. So let us know if there's something that you want to power, uh, what it is, the make and model, and then we can definitely put together the package for you. Uh, any questions, definitely know, let me know. My name's Rennie. I'm the owner of the company. Um, I'll make sure my contact information is at the bottom of the uh or it'll be included as well as, as the specs the pricing some links to some of our products as well too um and other than that if you don't mind liking and subscribing to our videos uh if there's something you want to see in our videos put it in the comments if there's something you specifically want to see us test if we're available to i will definitely do that for you guys okay other than that have a great rest of your day and oh our mountain that you could almost see is gone now <laughs> So yeah, enjoy the rest of your day, guys. We're going to head out then. Bye then.